Hello, I am Vizat and today I will show you a new video about the firmware 2.60 It's the most recent firmware and it was just released by Sony At first um, I'm running the firmware 2.60 I have this new option called device and in there are the Bluetooth settings then I have to lift it a bit change nothing to see to the game and start the half byte loader there you go it's starting um i'm using the 138 menu by gbot it's pretty awesome let's change the language to english so you can read it default settings and the game there we have like in the last previous videos I'm a bit lazy um, emulator master Wedgic PSP filer GPSP and the SNES emulator let's start with Wedgic It seems that Firmware 2.60 even loads stuff faster than the previous Firmware, so it's good for homebrews. Um, I haven't played Wedgic a lot. I should play it more often. But let's move to the next homebrew. Back into the awesome 138 menu. Since a lot of people like it, let's test the Super Nintendo emulator. But first I have to skip a something, press X. There we go, let's see, Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, Tetris and Zelda. I think, well I hope I have a safe game for Zelda, so we're not just at the beginning, but I'm not sure. Come on, yes, not at the beginning. Also you see I can use the analog knobs for walking left and right. I've mapped the right run to the, um, well, to this, so I can walk with all the three control panels. that's pretty nice and you can see that is running really smooth no lags no weird glitches like with the N64 emulator the game um, sounds not lagging so everything is fine games like uh, Mario Kart are also working that's just rain um, if I press L or L and R, yes it was it, I can choose a new game to load, like Super Mario World, Bling. So you see it's running really really fine, no glitches, no sound glitches, no visual glitches and other stuff. So the Super Nintendo emulator is running perfectly. Could press oh nice.
to run crafting level. I have these. can also save state with this emulator, which is pretty awesome. Let's exit. Yes. Back into G. No. 138 menu by G bot. That's correct. Not the other way around. Um, then the next homebrews emulator master for Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Load run like the classic games Pokemon Crystal. I think R and square is turbo mode, so we can speed it up. Normal speed. Let's crush it with this dude. The weather game at the moment is German. So yeah, if you don't understand what the text says, it's no problem. The emulator will also um work with English, Japanese or even Spanish ROMs. Turbo, so it's faster. Um, next one. Two. Yeah, I just crushed this guy, my Pokemon are too OP. But Pokemon is not the only game you can play, load ROM. For example, another popular game, Zelda. Start. Okay, with the turbo mode I can skip this, that's good. Also the um, German version of Legend of Zelda, um, Link's Awakening. Let's get the sword. Oh crap, I lost the heart. Awesome, I died. Stupid turbo mode and stupid wrong path. There we go. That owl and then stuff and then we get the salt. Bam. So I think that's enough for showing. Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulators working. Next we have Game Boy Advance also working. For this I will use my all trusty Pokemon Emerald. I even have a safe game. Once again, German version. Best Gen 3 starter. Let's 
It's sad that you don't have turbo mode for the GBA emulator. Every PC can, um, every computer can use the turbo mode for a GBA emulator. So that's a bit slow on the PS Vita and PSP. But otherwise, it's pretty awesome to have this game on such a big, massive, and beautiful screen. And for the last thing, I will show you PSP Filer, one of the most popular PSP homebrews, especially for well, for the half byte loader, so you can move stuff and rename stuff. Um, I'm not sure what I should show you. I mean, in the VHBL folder, I have my stuff. So, yeah. You can see this little icon of PSP Filer. I'm back into the settings. And down. Everything of these Humber stuff was done on the most recent firmware 2.60. I am that, and I see you soon.